Hey guys, so um, sorry I actually have to film this from my phone. Um, some things weren't working on my desktop, so I'm gonna pull it up on my phone, transfer it to YouTube, and we should be good. Um, I really enjoyed watching that video. I had never seen it before, but I thank you, Angela, for sharing it. Um, shoot, I almost started crying. That was really good, real powerful. Um, and I just posted it on Facebook and ha I asked people to share it. So hopefully it gets to the, um, the, the girls and some of the guys that I'm coaching right now for basketball. Um, I am currently a girls junior high basketball coach at Eastside Christian School here in Fullerton. And um, I was just offered a job to coach the varsity boys at the school actually. Um, but right now, um, in light of the junior high girls, um, I have these two Samoan twins, and I coached them last year, and um, these girls are just phenomenal. They're in eighth grade right now, and even last year when I was coaching them, they they could play varsity basketball in, in, in seventh grade. They are just unbelievable. Um, and last year, it's my first year coaching. I'm, I was 23 at the time. I'm 24 now, but I was 23. First year coaching, first team. And um, we just blew out every team. I think we won by an average of 30 points. I think the most the team scored last year on us was eight points until the championship game. We played a team, and we, they, gave, they gave up, like, 12. Um, and we would be, you know, 45, 55. Um, but I, was, I would press a lot of the game, most of the game, and... We'd be up by 20. I'd still be pressing and trapping 30. Um, and then I was getting emails. And um, the other athletic director at the school that I work at, he would talk to me. And he'd be like, hey, man, like, let's try not to press at, you know, once we're up by over 10 or try not to trap and just pull the girls back um, on defense just to keep the zone inside the three point line or whatever. Um, and. And I totally agreed with him and the things that I was hearing from the other athletic directors. Um, a lot of it was just, I think, pride um, from my end. Um, I wanted to win, and I wanted to win by a lot. Um, I was young. Um, not that I'm, I'm not young anymore, but I'm a little bit more experienced. Um, and it, it was awful. It was really just... Um, something that I wanted, you know, I wanted to beat somebody bad, and I knew that I could. This year, um, we've we've gone, um, we're 2-0 and right now, and again, these girls are just, they're just awesome. Um, but, you know, we've had two games, and we still have blown teams out, um, but I've learned, and I've, I'm trying to grow, and I've, you know, after we've been up two, four, six to zero, I'm pulling the girls back. We're not pressing anymore. Keeping the zone. We play a two three zone. Keep it, you know, within the three point line. Um we'll trap till we're up to about ten, but then we stop. Um and so I think I think things like that, um, and even if we win by thirty or forty points, I tell I still tell my girls, hey, you know, shake their, the girls' hands, or if it's the guys and we're smoking them, shake the guys' hands and, you know, tell them good game and that they worked hard. Um, so it's really been an opportunity for me to grow in my character, and I think for the girls as well. Um, I don't know if we'll ever lose a game. Um, hopefully we play some, some tough games, um, but I would love to see if, you know, when we lose, how these girls react, because these twins that I have, I don't, I don't even know if they've ever lost in basketball, so it'd be a great, um, opportunity to see there, um, now, how will you encourage character on your team, um, how will I encourage character, um, so as an elementary athletic director, that's one of my positions, in addition to being a PE teacher and a coach, um, as an elementary athletic director, some of my, um, the football guys that I have on the elementary team, I'm not the coach, but some of the kids, um, they're getting all hyped because we just got these new uniforms and they're like, you know, really nice, almost like professional, professionally made, almost like they're like tackle football uniforms, even for a flag football team. Um, but they're really nice, 
probably the nicest in the league. And they say east sides are all printed really nice. And um, the guys are wearing them. And I don't know if it's that that's getting to their head or if it's just their first year playing, but they're getting super cocky. They're talking about how they're going to celebrate in the end zone if they score. And yesterday, um, I had actually preached in chapel. And even after chapel, some of the kids at recess were going around flexing with their jersey on, talking about, yo, we about to kill this team and all this stuff. Or when they celebrate, they're doing that whip, nay, nay stuff. And um, you know, I went up and talked to them, and um, I I got the whole team together, and I just told them, hey, um, I don't want to see any of that. Um, no whip nay nay stuff. No, you better not be flexing. Um, and I told them if there is any celebrating, they're not playing the next game. Whoever celebrates is not playing the next game. And I told them that doesn't mean you can't clap, you can't cheer for your teammates. But I don't want any celebrating that brings glory to yourself. I told them that we are at a Christian school and we were made to glorify God. So the purpose of sports, the purpose of life is not to bring glory to ourselves, but to bring glory to God. Um, and so um, I think that is a is an example how I encourage my students. And then also um, just living by that example. I like to play with them at recess, um, you know, at lunch play with them and then when I do something good because sometimes I'll play kickball or football or whatever it is just you know don't say anything just be in a good a good example and just keep your mouth shut if somebody falls on the ground be the first one to help them up and so just things like that so yeah definitely loved the video that was great I'm sharing it and um, yeah I hope you guys have a great rest of the week